Well, Halloween is just around the corner, everyone, so I think it's about time we got this place looking a lot more scary and, to be honest, I've been decorating all day. Not really all day, I only had a limited amount of time to do it, but we're going to take a look at a couple of little mods that are a little bit chilling. First of all, sorry that the videos are few and far between t these days. I've just been trying to sort a few things out, but I'm, I am going to try and up the consistency quite a bit more. So, right now we have Halloween decorations by, oh my god, look at this username. O-I-C-T-O-O-P-T-T-P, oh, 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 -T -T something. It'll be on the screen. But I think it's one you just spell out. <laughs> Anyways, this is just a big pack of uh, Halloween decorations. As you can see, we've got this thing. That is so super cool. Uh, I've just lined a bunch of uh, candles here. Just lit the way inside. Just trying to make the place all nice and spooky. And uh, we've got different kinds of graves here. We've got one with the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. This is obviously a fallen soldier. And uh, let's see, who does this one belong to? Someone who likes a lot of alcohol. Ah, yes. All the dying traps. So, um, I've also got a bunch of bodies that hang up in the wall. Some of them are a little bit weird, uh, clip-wise, to uh, attach the walls. You're gonna probably need the Place Anywhere mod, just, get, just to try and get them where you want. And, of course, we've got these beautiful boys welcoming us to the neighbourhood. Alright, let's go in. Woo! And, um... Uh, these are just norm normal barrels, but you got a selection of these barrels as well. They've got skeletons, they've got people, they've got all the jibs, and it's just... <laughs> it is gruesome. This is a very well-made pack, by the way. Uh, this door here, non-functional, but it's just decoration. These are all just decorations of a skeleton trying to get in to make your world all the more hellish. Uh, by the way, if you want to find these, these are in decorations and floor coverings. So, just in case you're wondering where they are. And just imagine you were sitting here at your terminal playing Fallout when all of a sudden, boo! This guy comes out. <laughs> there was a couple of variations of that as well. Um, by the way, the things I'm going to show you here, just tip of the iceberg. There's, I've only placed a few of these things. And, uh, the same with uh, skeletons coming out of TVs. Got a few variations of those as well. Um, oh, there's a baby. <laughs> a skeleton baby. And, um, yeah, that's uh, that's just fine. Yeah, <laughs> they, these two just died. They didn't care that the bomb was going to drop. They were too busy watching Roseanne. So, oh, this one, oh, God. Oh, my God. This isn't even part of the pack. I just ugh, tend to forget people. 200 years after the party, he's been sitting there. <laughs> that was some party, though. That was really some party, though. Although I couldn't go, couldn't go up and down this hallway for about two weeks without holding onto the sides. It was so much KY jelly. And, of course, before you go to bed at night, there's nothing better than to just see this guy just hanging here. A couple of candles around him just to illuminate him. But, um... Yes, variations of this as well. The other, uh, these I do believe though are supposed to maybe suspend from like a beam or something. But again, with you may want to use uh, place anywhere because there is, there is a strange kind of clipping with these kind of uh, strange snapping. But um, it's really cool. It's still really really cool. So is that everything in here? I think I've shown you everything in here. We've got one more mod after this as well, and it's pretty cool. I've been meaning to actually review it, but I've only been able to do it tonight because uh, someone has really pissed me off. And for the last time. So we've got this altar. Now this is awesome. Now these candles here I've just placed with place anywhere. These don't, they don't actually come with it. It's purely decoration. All of these things. There's no... You can't use the terminals, of course. You can't um, sit in the seats. Uh, you can't really use them. It's just pure decoration. And floor coverings. <laughs> like I said again, uh, this skeleton guy, <laughs> there's a few different of these skeleton guys as well. Maybe I'll show you a couple of other things before we move on to the other mod. Yeah, that's the praying skeleton. Um, oh, this altar looks so awesome. This could just go <laughs> This could just go in so many places. You, know, you can just imagine the kind of montages or something that you can make. And uh, a few more graves. There's a, a the, the milkman, I guess. That someone who likes milk. And uh, buried with a bunch of people. Wow. It's like a death orgy. Nice. And originally, because I saw the data bear, I thought this was a child's grave, but it's not. It's for a dog. See, there's a collar there. And a uh, little bowl, tennis ball, and a big can of food that'll just go rotten after a while. And I wish I'd let this place a bit better, but here's another grave right here. Um, and this one, this one is really cool. There is someone trying to claw a Nuka Cola from the earth because they didn't bury him with it, you know. It's all fine dying, but if you want a Nuka Cola Quantum, you're gonna come back. <laughs> you're gonna come back from the dead just to get it. And here's the other side. 
of the door decoration. I do believe that I think this is maybe just the only one of those. I think so. But um there's also a skeleton with an axe that you can put by a door, which is pretty cool. And um, I think that's all the decorations so far, but there are a lot more in there. So hold on, I think I'll show you. Alright, so here we are. Decorations, floor coverings. Now these when you they just get placed quite far away from me. I don't know why they're so far away. Or at least the altar is anyway. So here is the that cage. There's other cages as well. This is just gonna float. That looks like there's a child in there because yeah, there's a teddy bear. <laughs> Another one. Oh my god, I mean look at these things. How would you even get your head through there? That is bizarre. And you've got a bunch of different graves. Look at that. Look at it. That's our other one. From uh, edges in the garden there. A nice little cauldron just to brew up some, uh, well I imagine these people that you're killing. Uh, these are just the normal things. Okay, so more graves. Bada boom. Bada boom. And people just don't get buried properly. They're so lackluster in their burying. It's so insane. That is a fallen miner. So, no, it's the brother of the steel. I thought that was like a miner's cap. Oh, uh, there's one someone's been trying to dig. That is made out of, looks like girders or something. Yeah. Alright, I think I can get you. If you want to move it a bit closer, you're probably gonna need, you guessed it, place anywhere. No. Place anywhere. Yeah. By the way, if you do place anywhere and you get the, you see that your, um, the model that you placed anywhere is starting to sort of shake, all you need to do is just select it then, deselect again, and it'll stay still. And that is that one. And we've got this other one, she's like, say what? Is that a monster coming out of that star? And you've got the big preacher one here. Maybe he's, you know, giving the ceremony to telling everyone Jesus says, worship this altar. Oh. I kind of wonder why they're, they're all just sort of in these positions, like... So bizarre. And of course there's the baby one. And there's a guy... <laughs> that's quite the iconic scene there. Mr. Radiator. Oh, he was part of the pack after all. Oh, there's a couple of them. There's a couple in there. There's Mr. Door. Yeah, let's find another door. You got, <laughs> this guy's coming in after him, like... Never mind the axe, I'm gonna use my head. Boom. There we go. <laughs> like, is your head okay there? Is your head okay? Do you want to just use this axe instead? And this is pretty cool. I was gonna put the toilet ones in, but this is like... You can't remove the toilet in this one. So we're just gonna put a toilet in the bedroom. And uh, this is what happens when drug dealers try and stuff bodies down the toilets. That's your very early on drug dealers, of course. The ones that don't really know how to dispose of the bodies. Uh, there's someone who just fell in. That's like an aeroplane toilet, that one. Uh, what happens is you press the flusher and the suction just does that to you. His uh, intestines, of course, have pretty much reached the U-bend. And, um, well, there's no helping him. That's just falling asleep and dying on the toilet. And that is... When you're insane enough to want to drive your toilet. Yeah. <laughs> These are the hanging uh, bodies. This is that one there. And get a few variations here. I think, yeah, let me see. Which did I get? This is the one that's there. And uh, these are pretty good. You, again, they probably need some specific kinds of beams. But uh, sometimes you can hide the chains up here like that. Obviously, you need to place it down first, then you can use the place anywhere. There we go. <laughs> He's getting a kick in the balls. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, we've got these heads on pikes. I think I'd like to place a few more. Different, two different variations there. I do believe different, just different NPC heads. Uh, another one right there. If I can. There we go. No, there we go. Yay. And then you'll end up with the one going across like that, like we have up there. And multiple heads on pike. We just kill a lot of people and we need something to do, so we just put our heads on stuff. More graves. And then we go on to... Uh, uh, just normal floor coverings, but there's a candle here. I don't know, is this candle... This candle can't be floor covering, can it? 
And that is that. That is essentially the Halloween decorations mod and it looks really awesome. Yeah, so we're probably... I'm going to do a lot more with this. I want to get this place out like some real big nightmare. Tony, I'm sorry to have to do this. Well, not really. You sold a ton of our supplies to the gunners. Of all people! But you did this before, didn't you? And I let you back in. Well, never again. Tony, your sentence is death. Then we could do this the easy way or the hard way. The hard way involves me ripping out your guts. One at a time. The easy way involves just going to the chair. Just going to the chair. This beautiful, beautiful execution chair by M. Look. Who we're reviewing now. And we're executing Tony. Hey. Come on, Tony. Just go to the chair. Over there. Just go into the chair, Tony. It'll be over soon. Am I gonna have to freaking? position. There we go. Am I really gonna have to turn the HUD back on? Am I really gonna have to do this? Okay. This guy is unfucking okay. believable. Go check that out. This guy is so unbelievable. Making me turn my HUD back on just so we can sit in the chair. <sighs> this is the end of an era, Tony. But you are screwing me over the whole time. I'm not going to wake anyone else up just to watch this because, well, they don't need to look at you anymore. <sighs> Alright. Goodbye, Tony. We're just going to wait a couple of seconds, uh, see if the governor calls. Wait, we don't even have a phone. Oh, shit. Okay, well, the governor's not going to call. He's not going to do anything for you. So, goodbye, Tony. May God have mercy upon your wretched soul. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye. Yes. Fry. Fry, Tony. Fry. Just think of every single box of creme fraiche that we go without now because you sold them to the gunners. Think of all those wooden clogs we could have used. And boom, goes your head. Yeah. How do you like that, Tony? You motherfucker. Oh, well, I'm really hoping it was actually Tony that uh, sold all that stuff to the gunners. So that was our mods today. This electrocution chair, <laughs> well, the execution chair is actually good. It's so much fun. Just be careful. Maybe try and spawn settlers to use this on. Uh, because what happens is you, 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 <laughs> you've got to be able to command someone to actually use it so if you yeah, gain a let's see hold on let me just check with you here execution chair settings so if you get a companion they will be essential so there is a setting to make hold on there is a setting to kill essentials like your companion and stuff just be careful with that that could be game breaking you know depending on, <laughs> on who the companion is but if you can spawn a settler and you can make them your companion um because you can use the uh, the companion ah, as framework or something, then you, all you need to do is just set that to enable to kill the essential, and the that way you can order them to sit in the chair. And of course, there's a set setting to make their head explode or not. Of course, you're going to put that on. So yeah, <laughs> so rest in peace, Tony. Unless you actually did sell that to the gunners, then what in hell? That'll be it for our video today, guys. I don't know if we'll have more Halloween stuff. I don't know. Depends on what comes out. So. Once again, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, but I will make it up to everyone. <laughs> I'll make it up to everyone. I promise. I don't know how. It may be sexual favours. I don't know. But until then, you can dream. Bye-bye.